Some men are driven to extreme lengths to achieve the ultimate in speed and innovation. Ed China was driven around the bend. His engineering wizardry led to the creation of this. A fully roadworthy bathroom suite. This is just the thing if you don't get up in time in the morning. And when he's not taking a bathroom for a spin, Ed can often be seen putting his motorised office through its paces. Ever since he was a small boy, Ed has loved taking machines apart. These days, he has more success putting them back together, thanks to his engineering and product design degree. I have, I suppose, lots of strange stuff going on in my head, and um, every once in a while stuff gets out. I like connecting things that shouldn't be connected, basically. Things like a toilet on wheels. This is bog standard. It's based on a Honda Spacey 250cc scooter. It's kind of like a point and square automatic thing, so it's quite easy to drive. Underneath the front here we have our linen basket, but inside there is the front wheel, and underneath the lid is the headlight. You steer with the sink, and in underneath the fake water here, if you like, is the dashboard, so you can see how fast you're going and how much fuel you've got left. Now underneath where you sit is a standard toilet seat. There's actually hidden the engine itself. On the back here we have the cistern. If I lift the lid off, you can see inside is the fuel tank. Some of Ed's machines need filling up more often than others. His hot desk may not have the best fuel economy. But if you think this oddity raises a few eyebrows, wait until you see Ed's pride and joy. I reckon this is the coolest car in the world. It's called the Casual Loafer. It's the world's first street legal sofa and it does 87 miles an hour. And for home furnishings, that's a world record. Well, the world record happened by accident. We were doing some racing at a racetrack and we got clocked at 87 miles an hour. And it was reported by a newspaper and then the Guinness World Records book actually found out about it and said, do you want to be in our book? And I said, absolutely, because it was a childhood dream. But building the fastest piece of furniture on the planet doesn't come with a blueprint. When I first tried to build the sofa, I did actually get an old Chesterfield sofa and sort of got it and thought, right, here we go, where am I going to get the engine, where am I going to put the wheels? And it became apparent rather quickly that it was, it was never going to look any good. It was going to look like a carnival float. So Ed adopted a holistic approach to designing his sofa car and built it himself from scratch. It took just six weeks, $600, and an eclectic mix of spare parts. A 1300cc mini engine for power, a beer can for the brake, a pizza pan to steer with, a remote control for the gears, and two potted plants for signals. I think what I do is probably 50% art and 50% science. I mean, it wouldn't work without the science, and obviously it wouldn't be any point without the art. The Casual Loafer is fantastic fun to drive and it's still my favourite car because everybody's loving what you're doing. They're waving and smiling at you, so of course again you get to see the best side of the world. Ed's wife Imogen couldn't agree more. Being on the sofa is like seeing the world on Prozac. Everybody's laughing at you, they're waving, they're taking photos, they want to talk to you. <laughs> Clearly Imogen loves going out for a drive but she'd like to improve on the sofa's weather protection. It tends to get very wet when it's raining and if you're going too fast, it's very, very windy. In the early days, when I was still trying to make an impression on, on his lordship, uh, I was wearing makeup and I put my lip gloss on and by the end of the journey, I had flies flapping all around my mouth. <laughs> In addition to the world record for the casual loafer, Ed owns the world's largest motorised shopping trolley, currently awaiting a new hydraulic drive, and of course the world's fastest office. But he has another, even more daring project in development. Under here we have an absolute beast of a sofa. It's powered by a three and a half litre Rover V8 engine which produces 220 brake horsepower. It sounds fantastic and it goes even better. This is the chaise lunge, and that V8 better be in top form if it's going to break the 100 mile an hour speed barrier. Ed's next mission. 
The 100 mile an hour barrier is actually quite tricky because of the aerodynamics of the sofa, this isn't great to be fair, I need about 200 horsepower at least just to push it through the air and probably we'll need to do it on a really big open space, perhaps the salt flats and like that. The chaise lunge may need a bit more fine tuning before that record attempt, but for now Ed is happy to reflect on his past successes from the comfort of what else but his casual loafer.